All right, we play a round of If You Only Knew. Are you ready, my man? I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited. Something that never fails to make you laugh. Uh, you know, it's crazy, but America's funniest home videos, there's yeah. something about those videos where people fall and things. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say. It's probably It's a terrible that. answer, but Listen, you know. you've had babies. The, ba the baby's first time we pees and you're changing the diaper. They look at you and start to laugh. There's something in our hard drive. I yeah. think we like to all think we're Moliere or something. That's Let's exactly face right. facts. We got around six moves that break us up, and one of them is somebody That's getting right. non lethally hurt right in front of us. Slipping. Just <laughs> fracturing maybe a wrist. Now that's wrist. good comedy. Yes, it is. You know what I mean? A comedian you can't get enough of right now. I would say, I mean, you know, I, all my friends, but I mean, Sebastian Maniscalco kills me. And I mean, you know what? For him to put out five or six like this, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know you got to strike when the iron's hot. If I was yeah. him, I'd take a uh, breath right now. Man, he's got the, that Italian work ethic. I've known. Listen, I knew Sebastian when he was a waiter at the Four Seasons for nine years. I knew him through all of it. Nobody worked harder. Just, just, a, just that, that sort of working class. Another cat. Italian. It didn't happen right away. No. Because I, I went, I, that's the last comedian I drove to see. I live in Santa Barbara. I drove to the Ice House to see him man. with my sons. And I went backstage just to say, hey, I, I don't know you from Adam, but I saw that special. And yeah. I, yeah. Listen, it was one of those things where you weren't sitting there as a comedian intellectualizing about why it was good. I was just in just, tears just thinking, just stop this, yeah, stop that's, this. That's right. That's right. All right, dream co-star. Uh, I mean... Now that you're I, acting again, baby. I've always had this fantasy of working with Walken, just so I yeah. can listen to him say something. Do you know him? I don't know him, but I just, you know... I've always wanted to have him as a friend, so I could... This is a weird thing to even say, but to pick fights with guys who could beat me up, but then have him come out from behind the bushes and, <laughs> and just go, don't. This guy, Kung Fu, <laughs> you got him. and then go away. <laughs> Proudest accomplishment. Besides that, Walken. The easy answer is saying my kids, but I can't stand that answer. I didn't do any work. It's because your wife's uh, so beautiful. Baby. Yeah, you that's exactly. Look at it as work. She does it's all the work. work. I just show up. There you go. Uh, longest period of time you've been awake. Uh, when I was in Afghanistan, I went and did some stand-up for the for the troops, which mm -hmm. was a great honor. And uh, I was up. I remember I was so afraid because the suicide bombings had were at an all-time high apparently. Right. So we would I would watch the special forces guy next to me in the Humvee, and he had his legs crossed. And I said, why are your legs crossed? He goes, well, if we get hit, I don't want to lose my legs. And I, I remember wearing, I had a, I had one of, the guy gave me one of these things. And he said, T you know those scarves that you wear? And he said, take that off. I said, why? He said, because if uh, we get hit, your face is going to catch on fire. So I was so afraid. I was, you know, it was just this constant threat. Um, and they'd brief us in the morning. So I don't think I slept at all. I think, I remember I, I remember went and did a CrossFit workout in the, the gym there, this open air gym. And so I was probably awake for, I don't know, probably this guy, three this days. This cat's a complete beast. Let's see. We go from a complex question or a serious question to a, uh, seems sort of back page of Vanity Fair. Food you can't stand. I don't like borscht. <laughs> what? Just, because you'll be accused of collusion. That's right, because I'm not a <laughs> communist, all right? I don't like borscht because I'm an American. I didn't even know you had the impression tool in your kit, basically, but on. you've cracked off a couple. Well, I listen, I have a chin ear. I can't do any of them. But, uh, <laughs> I'm good. I've got a good ear. Hey, say what you want about Trump, but I tell you what, his uh, outer voice is an entirely accurate depiction of his inner voice. <laughs> I, I don't think some of these people the left's inner voice and outer voice have ever he's even in, had a cup of coffee in, together. Thank you for your vote. <laughs> Place we'd uh, find you on a day off. The mountains, running in the wild. Yeah? My shirt off. No, probably at, a, at the boxing gym or on the tennis court, pretending I'm good at both. But secret talent. My secret talent? Um, I mean, I can't. Is Don't this say a, is running this? in the mountains again. Shirtless. Uh, oh, no, no. Weird me here. No, because uh, <laughs> horses are drawn to me. Uh, <laughs> wild horses. <laughs> My secret talent is that birds and squirrels are drawn to me. They land on my shoulder and they crawl up my it's leg. It's like the end of that. It's not my Invaders from Mars. His film where he's standing there yeah, and they all, there, come. all the birds yes. are on him. I suppose if that's, I don't know, I, I suppose that's a good energy I have as long as it's not rats and crows. <laughs> Biggest risk you ever took? I, you know, deciding to become an actor. I woke up from a, from a nap. I was working, I was supposed to be a banker or something, and I decided if I don't try this at least, I'm gonna hate myself, so. If not comedy, mm -hmm. what? What would you be doing? Teaching. Yeah? Be a teacher, yeah. 
three months off, right? Yeah. <laughs> there's, more, there's a deeper calling. <laughs> no, that is the reason. What, what, what were you saying? What were you saying, Dennis? <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> three months off, bro. Funniest fan. John Ritter there. came up to me, and I, he had been in Sling Blade, and this was back after when I was doing Mad TV. And I said, I looked at him, I said, I'm a big fan, man. I just loved you in Sling Blade and everything. And he said, are you, are you pool boy? Because I played a character uh -oh. where I used to wear a blonde wig and a Speedo and high-heeled sneakers, and I used to dance on national TV. <laughs> My father was very proud. And um, he used to do that character for his wife. So he <laughs> grabbed me and said, I want you to meet my wife, but she was in the shower. And then Henry Winkler came in, and they were doing a play, I guess, on Broadway or something. And he said, this is Brian. He's, he's on Mad TV. And Henry Winkler, he was such a nice person. He didn't recognize me, but he went, oh, yeah, sure. Sure. I thought, I'm kind of getting recognized by two people I grew up with. I thought, I thought you were going to say, what? hey. The <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, it's yeah. so nice to see him well, put it on the back end here with this assassin. I, I did that to, to Al Pacino. I met him once, and I, and I, I don't say to Al Pacino, I loved you in that movie. Don't do that. Don't Just be normal. Yeah. And I was going, be normal, bro. Just be normal. And then I went, I just watched Scarface again. And he went, uh-oh. <laughs> I went, well, Brian, why? Well, it's like when I met Springsteen, I was so nervous, I had my arms, and I was going, Brian, stop, stop pointing your elbows at him. Relax your arms, Brian, relax your arms. And I couldn't relax my arms. And I went, oh, you guys been skiing? And, and he said, usually we do, it was in Sun Valley, I usually do, but now we're just trying to let the kids do their thing. And I went, my feet are killing me. What I meant to say was, I've been skiing and my feet are killing me because my boots don't fit. But I just said, my feet are killing me. And I ran out of the, and that was, that was my, yeah, so good job, Rob. You should have said, uh, listen, uh, exa breast examination, compulsory, I, I, every couple of months. I just had them done, and so I'm holding them. Uh, biggest splurge. I, I mean, you know, listen, man, I'm, I'm, I am trying to stop the clock, so I try to eat as well as I can. Yeah. And sometimes I'll, I'll drink two bottles of wine. You look and, fit, brother. As Tom Wolf you. said, you're a man in full, man. You haven't I, seen I'm me happy running, for you it. You haven't seen me running in the wild. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.